Hey everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with like um, a show and tell kind of, kind of thing, I guess. Um, it's uh, I'm going to show you a little um, item I showed the other day, but I'll show you the completed item. And I'm going to do like a, how I did it. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, in case you decide you want to try it and get it home and get frustrated, um, stuff like that. Some things before you st I start may me hear uh, YouTube going in the background with Mario. He is out in the um, living room it's, and we can't, we have trouble closing a door because um, our son cannot, yeah. Che is not one to stay in a room by himself at all. Um, and then um, this photo I'm going to show you is from the website on AliExpress. I will sh enter that link into the description. I always either, when I buy a die set, I either put it together um, like if it's, it's simple and it's not 3D, I put it together and paste it on my um, on my storage for it so that I know what it's supposed to look like. So in this case, since it was 3D and everything, I wanted a photo of a completed project so that I could look and see um, exactly... Uh, how to put it together. So this was a little bit difficult. Um, I may not be putting it together correctly. Um, maybe I am. I'm not telling you what that I am for sure. <laughs> I'm just going to show you how I put it together and we'll go from there. I just figured I'd show it because it is a little bit of a complicated thing if you don't know it now I'm getting pretty good at it but I I find that it was not um very easy to put together so this is I think my second one and I think this one came out pretty good um and what it is it's little pocket um I thought these were going to be bigger um pillows, um, pillow boxes. So they're only about an inch by an inch or so. And I always thought they were going to be like two inches, but I can see how I could, I can see how I could, um, modify these, this design so that I could probably do it from scratch, for instance, like do my, create my own pillow, um, out, uh, out of, and make it like a wider pillow and stuff like that. So I think I could figure out how to do this and have it a little bit bigger. But what I want these for is some happy mail and um, I'm going to be putting some little trinkets inside those. You could also put, there's enough room for like a little, one of those like chocolate nuggets and stuff like that. So, and then if the person wants, they can certainly rip them apart um, because you, when you do put them together, it is like a perforated thing. Now, things that I did notice um, while making these is I don't put it together like theirs necessarily. Um, I find that, yeah, that I didn't find this, uh, this worked out. So I will show you what I do, I guess. And um, anyways, my process is when I get these, these little perforated things, I cut 
uh, one eighth of an inch off of them. And I'll show you why I do that. The other thing I do um, is I lay them flat as I'm doing them. So I've got some here that are already glued and I'll glue one with you guys here. So this is what the pillow starts out like. And I, it just folds like that and you just go along that line with your glue. I always use Eileen's glue, if you're wondering. Always, 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 I love that. Bought it in bulk, before, like I like my bulk, a big bulk thing container for it so we're gonna set this aside and I'll pick up one of the other ones so I did these little things and these are the perforated things right in between here so they're underneath those those things so if you look on their picture it's, it's you can see that perforated line on mine I prefer not to see it but anyways, I'm getting better and better as I do it. So that's good. So what I do first is I make sure all of the, um, because you want it like this one here, I did wrong. So you want the ones with the, this little curve here out so that the person can just go into that curve and, and pick it out. This one here, I had a problem where, and I'll pull that out, where if I had left it like that, where it closed and the proper thing was on the outside, then I end, oh, <laughs> I, there. Then I ended up with, on this side, this nothing showing, but this is showing. So I wanted all those in the back. Like this is in the back and this is in the back. So I wanted that opening in the back. So now I'm making sure that the sides, like in this case, you've got that little notch thing. I'm making sure those are all upwards for the first ones. And this one too, I'm, I've got this. Got that little notch and I'm just going to put those. So all the notches, I made that one upside down. So I'm gonna put that one aside pretend it doesn't exist for now because we're going with this color scheme so I messed up already you guys yeah darn it wrong color scheme because I've got yellow in these and that's how I was going to go so anyways that being said this notch is up this notch is up Eileen's glue, probably already dry. This notches up like that. So what I start doing is I start with this flipped over because I'm going to go and I'm going to go like this. So if you see that, I'm going to just go right, just not right up next to it, but just about like one sixteenth of an inch before it. You can just estimate it. It doesn't take a lot. So since I want my design, wood grain design on the back, I'm just going to put that. Now, the reason I cut these is because if I don't, they go all the way out to here and to here. Excuse my gluey hands to here and to here, which doesn't look good to me. I know that theirs is probably covered and that's why and stuff like this, but yeah, I didn't, I just didn't want to fool with that. So I decided to keep mine like that. So I just go along the side, 
go, go up to it. Just like that. And then I pull the other ones out. Same thing with this one. So that one goes with that one. I'll wait until that dries a little bit first. So we'll put some on this little guy over here. Again, this isn't meant to be like a perfect tutorial. And it's just I'm showing you how I'm putting this together the easiest way I know how. Just in case you want, want to do it. So since uh, keeping... See, I didn't keep my my notches up so now I'm mixed up so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put my notches up these not a little notches here I'm gonna put those up and then I'm gonna try this again see we will be putting something on that side it's just I'm doing this to keep organized so that I don't have those notches on different sides so then I'm going to go put that there. What I like about um, Eileen's glue is it doesn't take any time at all to, to dry. Like to dry sufficiently enough that you can use and continue on with your project it's not completely dry you have wiggle room there but it's just um i need that wiggle room but at the same time i don't want to have to wait and wait and wait and wait for my glue to dry so now notch 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 we've got now I've got some more of those perforated ones, and these ones are going to go on top, or what we're calling the top. So you see how I've got them in a line now, with the perforated in the middle. Now, these perforated ones, and again, I don't know if this is how they've done it in their, in their thing, but this is how I'm doing it. And I'm going to do... Um, another one of these there's a couple I want to do I want to um, show you still that um, the um, let me think here that's a little long I'm gonna clip that I'm um, I'm going to show you the waterfall one that I received that um, I had put in a book and you saw it in the book. And then um, I want to show you um, I want to show you um, how to make the little cake one um the cake box that i got a while ago long while ago now months ago i want to show you how i put that together too because i don't think there's any tutorial to put that together on youtube and it's it's a little confusing but i love it at the same time now i'm trying to figure out if i can save the reason being is because i have my my yellow And I'm trying to determine whether or not I can save this somehow. I think I can. I think I can, you guys. Oh my goodness, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. See, this needs to curve over there. And I get the yellow. And that should be covered up with the stuff. I think I can, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited now. It doesn't take much to excite me, does it? All right, so that we will clip just so that it, we make sure when we open that. 
So I'm just going to open this just a little bit because I want to make sure that there's no glue happening there. And that way my yellow will be okay. So I'm going to take out the two things I need to attach that one. So I can remember. Now, um, I think actually I will try to do that with the clips on. Okay. So we'll do this again with this one. So go along here. And then we go along here. And then we'll put this one down. I was making this anyways, and I said, oh, I'm, I should put that on YouTube. Just in case somebody needs a little help. And you never know, maybe, maybe I'm sucky at this, uh, maybe... I don't know. I love these. Um, these are good uh, tweezers. They are. <laughs> they're from. Um, well, Mario had extra Mario. It's one of their supplies that they didn't use because they left a whole bunch of stuff here for his extra mural. Get my glue off here. And yeah, so now what I do um, is I go along and I kind of open these, start opening these up and getting them ready. Just, you know, getting them started so that they know they got to open here soon. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to take, because I had this yellow in the floral part, I'm going to keep that up because I want, yeah, I want the, there is this little handle thing, and I want the handle to be there to cover that. So, um, so I took yellow out to do this. Now, they have them pretty much the same as I do, where they're going into, like they're hanging on to there, and they cover that, you can see, they cover that perforated part as well as, as the one that I, that I do. Now, um, they have that perforated part so that it, you can see it. Um, I'd like to go down a little bit because otherwise it's going to be like, yeah, I like to go, this is how I went last time. So I think I'll do the same thing. Go down close to it as I can. And because these guys, see these, these don't look like they have those jagged edge things that I have. And it's just purely decorative, I think. So, all right. So we're doing this. So we'll do that. I'm going to put glue on all of these so I can get it starting to, um, to harden, um, to, uh, yeah, just so that when I go to put on the things, it'll be quicker. So we'll do that. And, um, let me see. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to have them as close as we can to there. There. Uh, I think that looks all right. 
Then we have this one. There he is at watching TV. He was very happy to... Oh, I had two on there. He was very happy today because he got a good meal. We had a little bit of um, quiche. I haven't made quiche before. And it had asparagus on it. And it had... Um, it also had um, asparagus, had um, zucchini, and onions, uh, rice, stuff like that. He really enjoyed it, so I'm very happy that he liked those. And... Um, Yeah, so he said that uh, that was my best meal yet. I was like, what? I didn't think it was my best meal yet. I have not been cooking for long. I have been cooking since I decided to go off of gluten. And... Um, it's purely out of necessity. I do not like cooking at all. I never have. Probably never will. But it is what it is, right? If you're going to eat a certain way, Mario um, has... Um, Mario has... Uh, a dietary restriction for salt. I have one for gluten. So, and I will not eat a lot of meat. Like, it's very little that I'll actually eat. Um, I won't eat, I won't eat, like, burger. I won't eat, um, what else? I won't eat, um, yeah, like any red meat is totally no. And then, um, then I will not eat certain hand, uh, like certain um, things from pigs. I won't eat off the bone uh, any food. It is purely, uh, I am not one, I am very uh, conscious of animals, but I understand that people need to eat, right? So, yeah, I'm okay with that part of it. It's just, I have a hard time. What is... Where is my other one? Oh my goodness, no. Tell me I have another one of those. No, don't you guys. Just bear with me. I'll have to dig out something here. Bear with me for a moment. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to find something here. There we go. And we'll cut that real fast. We'll cut that real fast. Gotta love having the Gotta love having the um big shot beside you. One probably got one of these ones. Oh boy, you guys. You're certainly in for a treat on this one, aren't you? Alright. So 
So we got these. Now in each one of those, there's these little hearts. So if you're into collecting for those, and guess what? I only cut one. <laughs> oh boy. Don't you guys just get a kick out of what? Oh well. We're human. That's all there is. That's all it is that we can do. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that no, the picture was not mine. However, it is by Craft. Craft. It's called. Call Love Craft or, anyways, like I said, I will put their link below. The link that I used to get that off. This is gonna be. This glue is gonna be quite dry, so it'll go on pretty fast. All right. So now what we're doing is I will put on the um, the little uh, uh, handle. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I will just go like that. And then I just went around so that I can grab on that. Now with the kit, you do get what I liked about it too is that you do get two multiples. The only thing you don't get multiples of is the perforation in be, that you use in between them, which, which I'm surprised at because they did multiples for everything else. So I was quite surprised with that. But that's the only thing that I didn't get. All right, so. You can see our notches are still over there. So now is when we start to open these up and start getting them to be little pillows. Yay. All right. So... I'll start in the back. The reason being is because the back is what's going, the one with the notch is the one that's going last because that's the notch that they pull out. So I'm just going to take this perforated line here and start getting it so that it'll go in. So I'm just going to push a little bit and then I'm going to just kind of push him in just get this open do that and then just go along those lines now you may want to prep those lines uh, if you uh, for you I find they go pretty good I found they went down uh, pretty good um, but you may want to um, before you start making the rest of the stuff maybe folding those so that they're uh, but I didn't think they were too bad that one there is a little bit off but that's all right. And this one goes down okay anyway, so. And then this one.
There's little perforations there where you can find your fold. find it easier to go from the middle to the corners. And this one. I'm slow here. I'm kind of concentrating on getting these done. Finally, this one. So yeah, I want to be on the back just so I can have that one go down in and then the one with the notch goes like that. So this one here, same thing, and then we fold the notch one down. Now, you'll want to probably just kind of play with these a little bit, make them all uniform. You might find some places you want to glue, like I am right now. And yeah, so so this is the one that you and I made. So I think it looks pretty cute. And so now it does come with little doodads to dress it up. So it's got some fruit and it's got a bow it comes with the form of course you've got your two um for your handle you've got four of these these ones here i'm not sure why but you've got four of them i don't know where my other one went here probably on the die cut machine but anyways um it comes with this little tag and yeah so um it's a good little kit i just wish it had been bigger um because i think you could use it for more things but i think if you were sending like charms to somebody um sending um like a little say you made a little um charm for them to put on things um it, like not just the individual charms but uh yeah i think you'd have a cute little box displayed and um like i said you can see where the notches are all in the back so I am taking this. This is part of a set from my um, from one of my magazines. So I am going to be taking um, 
and decorating mine with the items that are in that little set from the magazine, um, which is uh, this. And I will decorate all this up and uh, yeah, and I think it'll look cute for what I'm going to be putting in it. So I hope you guys um, like this tutorial. Again, I will be putting the thing underneath, but I think it's cute. And for what you pay for it, it wasn't very much. So that's why I don't mind that it wasn't as big as I would have liked. And, um, but yeah. And then if you wanted to, they could just tear these right off. Stuff like that. So, yeah. So there it is, you guys. I probably, I might put some of these down here. Um, just to clean it up. And make it more universal. Uh, like, um, consistent. So, yeah. Anyways, it, let me know what you guys think.